Hi, Dave Smith here, DJS Photography. Uh, this is a funny kind of video to be doing. Um, it's called 100 million and I'm going to say a little more about that in a second. Uh, just a bit about the day here. It's, um, it's not cold, it's uh, brisk perhaps. I think you can see outside it's a bit overcast but, uh, but it's quite pleasant. Quite pleasant, nice sort of heading towards a spring day uh, here in Brussels. But let me tell you a bit about this video. I put a blog post up a little while ago, maybe a week or so, uh, also called 100 million. And uh, I think everybody knows by now that uh, I'm moving on from my current job. I'm a teacher at an international school here in Brussels. And uh, I'm going to open a gallery and studio and workshop facility uh, in my home in northern Sweden. Uh, so that's my plans and that's getting pretty close now. Uh, just behind where the camera is, the, plate, the room's littered with boxes as I've been dealing with packing things, uh, getting ready for the move. And a part of this is to uh, sort of think about uh, what photography projects might I take on. And uh, I've spoken in the past about uh, uh, travel and one of my first travel expeditions will be uh, around the northern coast of Norway from probably Kirkens near the Murmansk border and down to down as far as uh, the Lofoten Islands and uh, travel through the Lofoten Islands and I want to do that uh, through winter. I was there for uh, 10 days over the summer last year having, uh, having a look at the place and truly stunning. So some travel is certainly uh, one thing I'm going to do and I have uh, several, several other ideas for travel photography projects, uh, shooting landscapes, um, but also portraits uh, along the way. But I also had this, uh, this other idea, I had this idea uh, about uh, documenting uh, street children. And uh, street, uh, street children is a massive problem. So the title of this video comes from the uh, UNICEF estimate for the number of street children, um, st let's say street connected children. They're not always uh, kids who live full time on the street, uh, but they might spend their days begging, for example. So they're street connected children. And UNICEF's uh, estimate for the number of these youngsters worldwide is 100 million. Yeah, 100 million. Uh, when I first came across that number, it's mind-boggling. You, you, your first reaction is, that can't possibly be true. Uh, and certainly many people who uh, work directly with youngsters on the streets, and there are many NGOs who work in this area, uh, would probably say that that's an overestimate. And I think we would all feel that's an overestimate. And, uh, but let's consider that for a moment. Now, let's suppose that it's a thousand percent too high. That still leaves 10 million street-connected children in the world. And I find that pretty abhorrent. Uh, it's, it's hideous um, here in the 21st century. And there's a lot of political rhetoric about, uh, you know, about removing completely childhood poverty. Um, but that's, I'm afraid my perspective is that it is just that. It's political rhetoric. And of course what politicians then do is fiddle about with numbers and statistics to make it look as though they're doing things. There's a lot of money spent on things that are at best indirectly related to the everyday lives of these young people. And we see a lot of uh, imagery around this and, and I think very often that imagery is about uh, whiffs in Brazil uh, sort of asleep on a pavement somewhere um, or uh, sort of starving children in Africa. Now, you know, don't get me wrong, I think these are every bit as uh, disgraceful as anything else, but one of, one of the things that I think comes out of that is the money is essentially in uh, the rich Western countries, the G8 countries if you like, uh, most of Europe, uh, the Americas, and this, this is where the um, solutions have to come from. And the tendency is, I think, for people to look at this sort of imagery and imagine that, oh, well, that's the other side of the world. That's a 
country that our country isn't like that. But I think our countries are like that. I think the uh, issue of children connected to the street for their day-to-day -day living is a, is a universal issue. It's, a, it's in every country. And that's really what I want uh, my project to start from. I want to start from the idea that this isn't, a, this isn't a remote issue somewhere else in the world. And let me say that if it were, so what? We should still be doing something about it. But I think one of the uh, things that we ought to do is to bring this issue right into, uh, right into our own backyards. We should recognise that these are youngsters who live everywhere. And so I have this idea of a photographic project which is uh, kind of a, to generate a, a series of diptychs, I suppose. The idea being that um, one side of this diptych will place these youngsters in their context, but the other side of the diptych will present a, a much more standardised uh, portrait uh, demonstrating that these youngsters are no different from any other youngsters. There's a, there's definitely a tendency to demonise not just young people but anybody who is um, sort of forced into these kinds of circumstances living on the street and begging and living rough um, you know I don't believe anybody wants to be in that position they find themselves in that position through circumstances that aren't really of their own making and really as a civilised society in the 21st century these things shouldn't be uh, in existence. And one of my major um, premises here is that, you know, no, uh, no child has any uh, choice about their history. You're born and you're born into whatever circumstances you're born into. And that's the point at which there should be uh, equality in the world. And there really isn't. The fact that we have young people growing up on the streets, reliant on drugs, reliant on petty theft, on uh, prostitution, is um, utterly unacceptable. You know, nobody out there would have that for their own children. We shouldn't have it for any children. They're all our children, um, and they represent our future. So that's my. That's my sort of pro documentary project that's one of the projects that I want to work on in the coming two or three years and, um, and I'm kind of uh, making this video and I made the blog post to uh, uh, to seek some uh, help now the help is not financial I'm not looking for uh, grants or funds or fundraising or any of that stuff uh, what I'm looking for is um, uh, contacts because I want to, I can't just go up to youngsters who are reliant upon the street. Uh, they have a hard enough life as it is and there's an issue of uh, trust. So I need to really to make contact with NGOs, with people who work directly with these young people uh, to establish a, a basis for this project that that's, comes from a place of uh, trust, comes from uh, the, through the people that these young people have. Uh, have the trust off. So my question then is, uh, if you, you know, first of all, please reshare this video as widely as you can. Secondly, if you have uh, connections or contacts with uh, people who work directly with young people who are street reliant, um, I would be really grateful if you would um, pass my information on and maybe those people would be good enough to make contact and we can make a start on this project. Let me say a little bit more about the photography. Uh, my uh, intention is to shoot this in um, large format film. Uh, I would hope e eventually to present this as a as a as an exhibition, and a part of uh, a part of that process will be to generate a, a series of what I hope will be collectible um, portfolios. Uh, to uh, to document this uh, situation of uh, young people in the world. To that end, uh, uh, I will hand make the prints in palladium, carbon transfer, and photogravure. So I I hope that at the end of it there'll be um, a level of sophistication about the uh, project that will bring dignity to um, the young people who take part. 
anyway that's what I've got for now um, I'd love to hear from you if you're interested uh, let me know what you think uh, thanks very much for watching bye for now